I got a call out of the blue last year from a Hungarian bass player named Harsh Zegi Miklos. And he said he was the number one Lenny Tristano fan in Hungary, uh, which I don't imagine is uh, a long queue that goes around the block. And he said he wanted to bring Lenny's music to Hungary and would I like to come. He had a friend named Carly Binder and Carly is the director of the jazz program, the jazz school at the Franz Liszt Academy of Music in Budapest. And so it uh, turns out that Carly had seen some of my master classes in the past and he said, yeah, let's bring this guy over. And so they had a budget uh, every year to bring a certain number of visiting professors over or teachers. And so it just so happened to work out. I'll tell you what I found there. So they did know about Lenny and they were interested in, you know, hearing stories and some of his uh, uh, pedagogical um, uh, curriculums and techniques and so on. Um, the, the, uh, the, strong, the strongest influence I found, which is understandable, in Hungary among the piano players was Keith Jarrett. So uh, you can hear the echoes of Keith's music um, with all of the students there, which only makes sense since Keith is the greatest uh, jazz pianist that ever lived. That was fun to see. And of course, they were taking it in their own directions with some Hungarian influences and folk influences. And uh, uh, I was very impressed with the students. They were great, very serious. Half of them spoke English, half of them did not. The half that did not speak English, uh, the half that did translate it. I, I flew into uh, Budapest. I got there about Sunday three in the afternoon and nine the next morning. I taught at uh, for five hours at the Franz Liszt Academy. And it included a lecture for the entire jazz department. And then I worked with um, about 12 piano players for the afternoon. And on Tuesday, I worked just with the piano players for the whole day. Uh, it's a remarkable place in that Carly has built a jazz department with very advanced musicians and students. And um, the level of the students was extremely high. So it was a really interesting time uh, working on refining some of their concepts and directions that these particular musicians were going in, uh, being in Budapest and absorbing the influences there. So after that was a concert at the Opus Jazz Club, which is a beautiful club in Budapest with about the best Fazioli piano I ever played. Yeah, well, we went around uh, extensively in uh, Budapest, and uh, my wife, Hari, came with me, and um, I really enjoyed it there. I thought it was, a first of all, it's a beautiful city, absolutely beautiful. Uh, architecturally, things to do, things to see. They have three beautiful bridges. Actually, Budapest is two cities, as most people know, or some people know, now I know that connects the two cities of Buda and Pest, and they're connected by bridges. And you can actually walk, there are three different really beautiful bridges that you can walk from Buda to Pest and back. It just takes about 15 minutes. So there were beautiful castles. We went to these wild uh, uh, hot spring baths where tons of, uh, of Hungarian folks would go after work and soak and was really, You'd go from the hot tub to the sauna to the cold dip and all this kind of stuff. So it was very interesting. My impressions uh, was that the city was was, um, uh, it was just a beautiful place. I, I heard it was hard to make ends meet financially for people that lived there. But the mood there was good and people seem um, in good spirits and the city is thriving like crazy. And uh, there are all these beautiful castles. Actually, it's unusual because it looks like a European city that is, you know, a thousand or more years old, but it was evidently built 120 years ago 
from what I understand. And uh, they built it in the style of the architecture of, of old Europe. So um, it was really a, a very interesting, beautiful place, very hip, a lot of young people, um, just seemed thriving to me. And also, uh, I got a, a chance to visit another building in the Franz Liszt Conservatory. Uh, I have a picture of it standing in front of the room where Bella Bartok taught for 30 years. That was a real thrill because Bella was also uh, Hungarian and his combination of Hungarian folk music with classical music is uh, a, a legendary. I mean, his, his music is just out of this world. And he, he drew a lot of sources from Hungarian folk music. It was really a lifetime high experience to have the chance to come to a beautiful city like Budapest, work with advanced students and play for audiences that were serious about jazz. I love the opportunity to go and work with students and help them to develop their concepts and to give them specific advanced jazz concepts to help them move into the future. And uh, I look forward to having chances to go other places if the opportunity should arise and do the same thing. It's an amazing experience to take jazz on the road and um, it, was a, it was a real uh, pleasure and honor for me to do that.